energy forecast for Saturday, June 8th. So we have the moon in her rulership and cancer energy here all day, which means that we are looking to find a new grounding point in our emotions. Of course, coming out of that new moon in Gemini had us all up in the headspace. And of course, we still kind of are. However, with the moon in cancer now, we have to kind of step out of the overthinking, overanalyzing that we've been doing and actually feel our way through some of the thoughts, some of the ideas that we've been percolating on. The moon in her rulership, definitely looking for familiarity, holding on to the past, which again is gonna make it very hard to make some of the changes in our inner realms that we have to be making at this time to kind of prepare us for the energy, the action that we are building towards. It does make it a hard thing to do to break away from the old and actually align with the new with this cancer influence. However, we have to kind of find comfort, safety, security within ourselves with this ever-changing landscape going on in our physical realms. We have to find a grounding point in order to make sure that we are grounded enough in our energy, aware of our thoughts and feelings, to be well informed on what it is that we're processing, what it is that we're kind of deliberating between as we kind of move closer to some of these particular choice points. So definitely incorporating some of the feels back into some of the thinking, some of the thoughts that have been going on very heavily in this Gemini season. And today we also have the last day that Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, will be in his rulership in this Aries energy. So as we've been kind of learning and exploring the last day that a particular planet is in a sign, in a energy, there's always an intensity to wrap up that mission, to really learn the lesson. If you need to go back, take a listen to what Mars in Aries energy was supposed to be about, definitely go ahead and do that. But just know that there's likely going to be some feathers being ruffled here today. The agitation, the frustration of not seeing as much progress as we were hoping to see at this point definitely going to get the best of us and with the moon in her rulership and cancer energy we're already kind of dominant in being defensive overprotective if you will we're willing to fight protect and defend what it is that we believe in where it is that we're feeling comfort safety familiarity and especially some of those challenging thoughts that we are kind of dealing with at this particular point in time we could find ourselves kind of standing on the side of negative Nancy narratives here today. Now, a lot of that is because of the moon in Cancer. A lot of that is because Mars is wrapping up his time in Aries energy. And a lot of that is coming from the fact that we have Venus squaring off with Saturn here today, which is never an enjoyable aspect. We'll touch on that a little bit more as we kind of get to that in the astro shifts that are taking place here today. But just know today is going to be a little bit prickly. OK, kind of erring on the side of negativity, of p pessimistic type of mood and attitude. We're not going to be sitting in it for very long, but please just understand we're moving out of the dark phase of the moon, the new moon, where, you know, typically speaking, shit hits the fan. We had some surprises, some wild card events kind of thrown at us now because of the phase that we're building towards, which technically now is the first quarter moon in this Virgo energy popping off here on the 16th. From the new moon to the first quarter moon, we have to kind of sit in the funk, sit in the darkness, sit in the negativity, sit in the pessimistic mood and attitude in order to figure out what the problem actually is. And it is going to be halfway through this particular week, building towards that first quarter moon in Virgo, that we will shift our perspective, shift our mood and attitude, and be in the, let's call it problem solving, resolving phase of this lunar cycle. But of course, we have to identify the problems before we can actually fix them. So with all that being said, there are 11 different aspects taking place here today. Eight of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in this Cancer energy going to semi-square with Uranus, the Great Awakener in this Taurus energy. Semi-square creating a little bit of tension and conflict, mostly because Uranus wants us to open up our mind, open up our headspace, open up our heart space to just looking at things from a different perspective, a different angle. And even more than that, 
be open and willing to try new things. The problem here is, is that the moon in Cancer wants to stick to what is tried, tested, and true. We don't want to change. We don't want to adapt. We don't want to try new things. We want to stick to what has been working. Even if it's not working anymore, we're convincing ourselves that it is working, that it is still something that we should be pouring into because we're not quite confident enough to actually start implementing the changes that we know that we need to make. This is going to create some confusion, going to create some resistance, going to create some defensiveness, anything coming at us right now, challenging us to change, to transform, to improve, definitely going to be met with a lot of resistance. The moon in Cancer then going to make a positive interaction with Mercury. Mercury, of course, rules over our mental plane. He's in his rulership here in Gemini energy. This is a positive interaction. So it means that our heart and our head are kind of on the same page. We're starting to understand things from a new level of awareness, a new perspective, a new level of understanding where change and improvement definitely has to be made. But we're removing the intensity of having to make it now which means that the moon in Cancer kind of, again, trying to find a new grounding point, a new foundation for us to emotionally be operating from. The moon in Gemini rapidly processing the new ways of looking at things, the new ways of feeling towards certain situations and circumstances, so that, again, we can kind of find that safety and security of thinking and feeling in alignment, the same path, the same direction, understanding that right now we need familiarity, in order for us to build towards that action point that will have us making changes that at this particular point in time, we're just not ready to make. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Gemini energy is going to get into the boxing ring and square off with Saturn. Saturn, of course, the Lord of Karma ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline is in Pisces energy. And so this particular interaction is kind of what I spoke about earlier, that it's not going to feel good. A lot of the reason of that is because, of course, Saturn brings in a harsh reality check and Venus is all about relationships. So now we're starting to understand that there's a little bit of a block, a guard, if you will, a wall going up within us. We are now kind of stepping back from social situations, stepping back from meaningful conversations, stepping back from just interacting with the world around us because we don't feel so safe and secure and stable within ourselves. We're feeling a little bit down. We're feeling a little bit discouraged, if you will, with some of our relationship dynamics. And because we're not kind of getting the confirmation, the validation, the feedback that we're looking for, that we're craving, getting from the outside world, it's kind of putting us in a little bit of a Debbie Downer situation. We're reaching a very pivotal point in either a relationship matter or a financial matter that is going to make or break the path in moving forward. And again, because Venus is in Gemini energy, we are dealing with extremes here. We are having to kind of meet ourselves at an ending point in order to pivot and start something new. But this is a very challenging aspect because it's putting us in a situation where we don't feel attached or connected to the people that we've been choosing to share life with because we're in a little bit of a negative Nancy narrative and a Debbie Downer type of disposition. We are almost expecting the ball to drop. We're expecting negative outcomes. We're expecting shit to hit the fan, so to speak. And realistically speaking, again, we have to be focused on the difficulties, on the challenges, on the obstacles right now, on the problems in order for us to actually identify that there is a problem and then continue to try and fix it. We're a little bit sensitive, of course, with the moon in Cancer energy. We're super sensitive. So any type of disagreement, any type of backlash, any type of perceived criticism is not going to be received well. And so it is putting us in a bit of a tricky situation because we are going to get very real, raw and vulnerable with what isn't working in order for us to figure out what could work instead. The moon in Cancer is then going to make a very positive interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire in his rulership 
in Aries energy and may I also say that he rules over our anger and frustration as well. Um, this is the, I'm going to call it the last aspect that the moon will be making with Mars while in his rulership. We have one other Mars aspect popping off before he's going to be shifting into Taurus energy. But as far as the moon goes, the moon interacting with Mars at this point, is kind of helping to build up the inner realm of determination. Now, let me just say this particular aspect kind of feeding off of Venus squaring Saturn this is kind of like, you know, when you're being presented with a challenge and it frustrates the hell out of you, or maybe somebody says something to you and you're like, you know what, I'm going to prove you wrong. Is this kind of mood and attitude that we're in? We're building inspiration, excitement and determination out of kind of proving a point, if I do say so myself. Now, considering the fact that Mars's time and his rulership in this Aries energy has definitely created more anger more agitation, more division than anything else. A lot of that is because we've had ants in our pants ready to take action and make moves that just didn't seem to present themselves for us to actually execute upon. A lot of this energy has been about cultivating that new spark, new fire, new flame within us in order to actually see the, ch the challenges, the obstacles that we're going to be faced while trying to blaze into a new path and a new direction and actually be able to care enough or be excited enough or inspired or hell bent damn well and determined enough to actually see something through. And so again, the moon and cancer, we are kind of, you know, building in our defense protective mechanism and especially coming out of that square energy, we definitely have walls and guards up. And now with Mars kind of in the mix, yes, this is a positive interaction, but we're using a lot of the, let's call it a negative fuel source in order to drive us in a positive direction. So this is like building in this intensity, building focus on what needs to be done. And again, a lot of this is kind of what we're piecing together out of what isn't working, what what we have been doing that suddenly is no longer working. We're not getting the results that we want. So we know that we have to make a change. We have to pivot. The moon then gets into the boxing ring and squares off with the north node in Aries energy. So again, we're back in the funk. Why? Because now we know that we're hell bent determined to kind of break away from what isn't working, from what is kind of creating a little bit of fuss, a little bit of disconnect and detachment in our lives. But now we don't know the path to actually travel to get away from where it is that we're at and closer to where it is that we want to be. And so right now we're kind of locked up. We're not really seeing the ability to move on, to grow, to heal, to repair, because we're all kind of, I'm going to say, confined to this box that we've created, the walls that we've put up now acting as a prison more so than, you know, protection at this point. And we can't see past the prison walls. We don't know what actually awaits us outside of the walls of the guards that we're currently building in order to emotionally protect ourselves. So then Mars, the god of war, ruling over physical energy, drive, passion, desire, even anger in this Aries energy will be making his last aspect in his rulership. And it just so happens to be a positive interaction. Thank goodness for that with Neptune in his rulership in this Pisces energy. So what I love about this is that, again, this is like us being in a frustrated state, realizing that we can't continue doing what it is that we've been doing and expect a different result. This is us, again, taking a lot of those negative, pessimistic perspectives that have been triggered and activated, especially since around this new moon in Gemini that we just had. And this is us kind of using that as the fuel to fire us in a new path, in a new direction. Neptune being in Pisces energy is the higher self. And we are trying to align with the higher self. We're trying to align with our intuition in order to remind ourselves what it is that we're fighting for, what it is that we want to build, what it is that we want to create, where it is that we do have passion and excitement and inspiration and motivation and a determination building within us to actually see something through. So this is a good energy because it's tapping into a new warrior spirit in a new warrior mood and attitude that we have to have in order to see our path, our plan, our strategy through. The moon is then going to semi-square Jupiter. So just when we're kind of building up in confidence, building up in this motivation, in this determination to see things through, suddenly we're not feeling so hot. We're not feeling so confident. We're not feeling so optimistic. A lot of that is because Jupiter requires us to think about where it is that we can grow, 
where it is that we could do better, where it is that we can improve, where it is that we can expand on certain situations and circumstances in our lives. And that poses a great big problem for the moon in Cancer because, of course, we want none of that. We want everything to stay the same. We, we, again, have been sitting around hoping and praying for change, but we don't really feel well equipped or well prepared to do anything about it as of now. So again, we're not seeing the opportunities to actually break away from what it is that we're currently in. Instead, we're trying to convince ourselves that our current circumstances aren't so bad. Maybe we should just settle. Maybe we should just see it from a different perspective and therefore we wouldn't have to be accountable or responsible for bossing up and making any changes in our realm and reality. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the sun. The sun, of course, shining a bright light in this Gemini energy. Lots of information, lots of processing, lots of choices, lots of options. This is an emotional aha moment. This is an emotional awareness. This is an epiphany on what it is that we have available to us right now to make some small changes that will eventually lead to the big changes. The moon in Cancer, again, relying on intuition. The sun in Gemini, relying on the intellect. This is an opportunity to kind of blend both worlds together and to have a change in perspective. The change in perspective, therefore, leads to a change in emotion. That change in emotion leads to a change in vibration and frequency. That change puts us on a different path, a different direction, a different option, different opportunity point to try something new. But the pressure of having to choose that right now is removed. Thus, we're able to, again, in our inner realm, kind of operate from this emotional grounding point, this emotional foundation to feel our way through a lot of the thoughts, a lot of the ideas that we've been percolating on. The moon is then going to trine Saturn. So this is water on water energy. A trine is a nudge in the right direction. It is a merging of energies. This is us understanding that a change and a transformation in our inner realm of emotion has to happen before we can actually engage the physical body and take actions in our physical realm to break away from our current circumstances and boss up to new roles and responsibilities. This is us, again, kind of seeing life as it is instead of the way that we wished it would be. Now that sounds like a harsh reality check, but this is a trine. So this is going to be just a welcomed acceptance. Okay, so we're not being rocked by the universe. We're not being given a tough love life lesson like a harsh reality check that Saturn usually delivers when we're kind of encountering him in a negative way. Instead, this is like a, oh, okay, so this is what I'm working with. These are the options that I now have. These are the options in which have been removed. This is where I have to build myself up in my emotion, in my confidence, in my ability to see that, guess what? Things are changing and it's better to roll than be dragged. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Venus in Gemini energy. This is going to give us an aha moment and emotional awareness on what it is that we have to do in order to kind of repair and rectify some of the issues that have been popping off in our relationship dynamics, especially earlier on in the day, coming out of that square between Venus and Saturn, where again, we were feeling kind of isolated, even next to the people that we have very strong emotional connections to. This is going to be an aha moment, an awareness of what it is that we're lacking, and therefore what it is that we need to feel safe, to feel secure, to feel back on the same page with the people around us. This aha moment, again, may not be something that we're willing to take action upon as of right now, because that moon in Cancer, again, doesn't really like to change much. However, being aware of what we could change is the first step in making those changes, and our heart space is kind of leading the charge on this particular path. The last thing that we have going on here today is Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in his rulership and Gemini energy, just add into the head pressure, add into the information, the different perspectives, different options, different details that we have to sort through, that we have to process at this particular point. Mercury is making a very positive interaction with Neptune in his place of power in this Pisces energy. So this is beautiful because Gemini energy and Pisces energy is very creative energy, very imaginative energy, very much a visual 
of a goal, a target, a dream, a vision that we would like to see ourselves ending up in and using the logical, practical part of our mental plane in order to formulate a path, a plan, a strategy on how we're going to bring some of these ideas, some of these fantasies into the physical realm. This is also a beautiful time to kind of gain a lot more insight, a lot more perspective, a lot more understanding from the spiritual perspective, the life lessons that we're currently learning. This is almost like us kind of just getting a little bit of a spiritual renewal, if you will, reminding us what it is that we want to do, what we want to pursue, what we want to build, what we want to create, and using, again, our intellect to piece together a proper plan that we, again, are building our confidence in as we kind of build towards an action point that will be coming at us here in about a week.